we are here with Marina Petrichenko from Crypto Marina. Marina, how did your previous role in marketing, business development and project management prepare you for your work in the crypto space? Hi, thanks for having me today. Well, actually, my background is coming over 10 years in marketing. And before that, I had my own marketing agency in Mallorca, in Spain. Uh, and in 2017, I discovered a fascinating world of Web3 and cryptocurrency for myself. And I just moved totally there and started to work as CMO, CBDO in different kind of projects. Uh, currently, I'm also head of growth at NimTech. It's a privacy infrastructure. But I also have my own marketing agency called Crypto Marina Marketing. Uh, and uh, doing marketing consulting and a lot. So, of course, uh, classic marketing knowledge is absolutely necessary if you want to work in this industry as a marketer. But, of course, you need deep knowledge of the tech. That's why I also went to study and I Uh, um, my degree in University of Nicosia uh, for uh, know all the technical details uh, of the tech itself and also I worked across different uh, projects across the industry at the same time so I can know the industry from all the angles uh, and uh, be aware of every single aspect of it and I think if you want to be a marketer in Web3 This is essential to understand both sides because Web3 marketing is not really like normal marketing. How it can be this industry, like crypto industry, without marketing? Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> Why? I mean, uh, you know, 80 to 20 rule, 80% is a product, 20% is marketing. And if you don't have marketing, nobody will ever know about your product. So uh, many people confuse also marketing with sales, like that we sell in something is totally wrong. Uh, right now, and especially in 2023, marketing is about establish the relationship between product and people. So it's more like PR. Um, PR is part of it. Let's say, of course, it's important, public relationships, uh, but it's also like a lot about the communication, like through the social channels, through the content, through the education, running your webinars, through the events like this, um, and um, getting the trust, getting yourself transparent, you know, show what you, who is the team, what they're doing, you know, why they're doing it, what's the mission behind it, and talk to your customers, talk, talk to your community, not customers, every single day, and treat them like your family. Can you give us an example of a successful campaign that you made it? Oh, it's lots of them. <laughs> I'm sure about it, but uh, the the most important, the most gorgeous. Yeah, uh, I would say my last two companies was the most significant one in my career in general. For example, the previous company is Flow Blockchain uh, by Dapper Labs, uh, which is creator of CryptoKitties. Uh, we had a very short deadline of one month to build the whole brand awareness about Flow as a brand, uh, and uh, myself. Together with uh, the team, which is a big market team, maybe like 30 uh, people and a big marketing budget, we did like really aggressive marketing uh, through the influencer marketing, through the paid ads, through working uh, a lot with the content production, uh, running our own event uh, in all the regions, in all the languages at the same time. And the success was impressive. In one month, we managed to build the whole brand and uh, we hit a record sale on CoinList, 9.5 million in two weeks. Uh, and that was uh, really a miracle because it's like uh, if you work in this business, you understand like one month is nothing really to build a brand. Uh, but it was fantastic. And uh, my current company, uh, Nim Technologies, is also very specific because crypto is just like a very small piece of it. Uh, it's a privacy protection tech. That's why the audience is also very technical and very special. Uh, and because of regulations, uh, we couldn't market it as a normal business. It had to be fully organic, you know, through... Uh, Uh, communication and engagement with the community, so the content production, uh, not, no paid ads, no uh, paid promo, just like pure organic thing. And still, uh, we, together with the team, we managed to achieve significant results. When we had a, a, a token sell on the coin list, we also managed to get uh, a record registration, 1.5 million. 
but we only have 500,000 tokens to offer, so many people were not able to buy the tokens, but it was sold out like immediately, in one minute. So that was also, I would say, something I'm really proud of, and I'm proud of my team, we did it together. And uh, yes. <laughs> Did you find some difference uh, between the marketing before coronavirus and the marketing right now? Because I think that point of our lives makes some changes in marketing strategies. And of course, my question is just for crypto, uh, crypto domain. Yeah, I would say, you know, for the Web3 industry, we were really lucky not being affected that much. Even perhaps in some way it benefited the market because people were at home and spending more time on their laptops and their phones. The world itself went more digital, right? Uh, but uh, the difference about, let's say, that year and this year is that the, the market in general becomes more regulated. So if before crypto marketing was all about creating a hype about the project, like work with influencers, pump the price, you know, make it sensational, right now it's all about the building the trust, building the relationship, uh, and uh, being transparent. And only the best projects will survive and are surviving. The projects that have really something to offer to people and that care about the people. What advice would you give to someone who is just starting out in the crypto, blockchain, DeFi, NFT space? Uh, learn, learn every day. There is follow the news. There is always something new, and uh, do lots of research. Uh, like in any business, this is very important to study. But in this business, like we say, crypto never sleep. You have to check. Uh, I've personally used, for example, Crypto Panic is a good website. It's like a news aggregator which sort all the news for you and show you the most important ones. And from the news, you can make and adjust your marketing strategies and your investment decisions uh, and many other. And uh, I mean, always believe in yourself. Sometimes you think that this is too technical for you, or that you're not, or it's too difficult, or you're not good enough. So. Nothing is impossible, just study hard and go towards your goal and you will get everything you want. I heard that you normalized at uh, a word gala, so can you tell us more details? Are you nervous? What are your expectations? It's, uh, I'm very excited indeed, it was very unexpected uh, at all, so uh, I'm very honored uh, to be nominated with such a great ladies. Uh, alongside and I uh, wish everyone good luck uh, and um, I'm very also surprised that here in this event there's so much ladies who are so educated, so professional. Uh, it's very rare scene. I've been in many events but this event is booming with uh, uh, women in Web3 who are doing something It's March. Some it's March. March. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, fantastic, fantastic event. Uh, of um, women. So, Marina, thank you so much for your interview here at CryptoKTV. Thank you. <laughs>